Hello everyone and welcome to Hitman Freelancer. Um, it's been quite a while actually since I've done any Hitman on the on the channel. I'm just going to go outside so I don't get distracted by that jazz music. Um, you might be wondering what Freelancer is. Because uh, the videos I've done previously on the channel were based on the Hitman story mode. Freelancer gives you a bit more sort of um, free roam, sort of say. Um, pretty much the whole um, the whole point of freelancer is to give you your own sort of ways of killing off your targets. Um, pretty much the whole um, point behind it is to take down a syndicate, um, and each syndicate you take down will uh, eventually lead to a, a final showdown, sort of say, um, which will have to which you would have to uh, pretty much um, pick out your target from like a, a group of individuals pretty much um, based on limited information uh, we'll be here all day if I try and explain what freelancer is exactly um, but you you pretty much one of the cool features about freelancer and uh, not, not only is it taking down um, the targets of in, in your own sort of way, in your own choice, but it's also the fact that you can lose and gain different weapons. So if I go into a, a um, syndicate, for example, and I, I die, uh, I'll get brought back to our safe house here, and whatever weapons I had with me at the time of that, uh, at the time of that death, at the time of that injury, I will then lose, and I'll either have to gain back through buying them, through weapon couriers, or um, obviously through the uh, loot boxes which you get uh, after completing each sort of syndicate sort of thing. Anyhow, let's head downstairs. Okay, so this is the underground bunker sort of thing, if you want to call it that. This is where all the shit happens. Uh, we've got our outfits over here which we can choose from. I'm going to go for the, uh, the suit that we've currently got on. That'd help if the doors stayed open. Okay, so this is a new campaign that I've started, so let's examine our territories. So in this campaign we have Dartmoor, England, we have the Isles of Scale, North Atlantic, Wilton Creek, USA, uh, New York, USA Bank, uh, what else do we have? We have the Dubai, United Arab Emirates, and the Haven Islands, Maldives. Um, so I think to start this one off, we will go to the New York Bank, and our period objectives on this are to do no combat, <laughs> which uh, yeah, I can't say that lasting for very long. Poison attack with a dart gun, which we can do because we do have a sedative dart gun. And silent target takedown with a rare melee, which I believe I can also do as well if I have some melees. This is your weapon walls, as you can see. Very good. Um, Again, like I mentioned, you gain your weapons in the freelancer mode. You gain your weapons out through buying them, discovering them, i.e. taking them off of people and reselling them back to your safe house, or um, getting them through the crates here, which you get to open at the end of each um, sort of campaign, so to say. And you've also got um, prestige objectives here which uh, a secondary sort of objective you can use to gain uh, more money. If you look in the right hand corner I have 55,165 Um I'm not going to go through all the guns I've got because we'll be here all day and I want to jump into some action but we need to poison a target with a dart gun as you can see in the top left there so let's go over to our suitcases here or briefcases rather. We have the dart gun here uh, the Seeker 1, which is using the Medic Dart Gun, and we have the Tranquilizer. I think I'm going to take both of these, just in case we need them, because we usually do need them. I'm also going to take the ICA Explosive Phone, because that can be used as a distraction device. Um, let's also go get our ICA Gold Baller, which uh, is a gun I recently acquired. Fact, let me show you that. There we go. Very nice. It's not really gold, to be honest. It's supposed to be gold. It's more like a tan to me. Um, what else do we have? Silent target, rare melee. So I'll have to take a target down with a rare melee weapon, which will be one of these. So we've got the Tanto. That's rare. That's rare as well. 
I'm going to take the concealable knife because that is something we can hide on our person. It doesn't get picked up in pat down searches. So I'm going to take the, um, the target with one of them. Okay, excellent. We've got all of our equipment. Let's have a look at the prestigious objective silent pistol kill epic. Um, unsilenced pistol kill epic and timed silent takedown. I'm going to go for the uh, silenced pistol kill epic. Because we've already got one of those epic um, pistols on us. Okay, enough chatting. We're going to hop into USA. And we're going to head down to the New York Bank. I'll see you there. Welcome to New York. We have intel that the Syndicate is active in the area. However, they're on high alert, so you need to be careful. Be careful, 47. And most of all, good luck. Welcome to New York, she says, and I'd hope it's New York, otherwise I got on the wrong fucking plane. Um, we have spawned in the worst area of all. So, just before we get into things, the two security guards over there, as you can see, they have a white dot above their head. I just want to explain what that means. That means that they know who I am, so to say. Um, and I'll get into this a little bit more later, but once I start knocking people out and killing them and taking their disguises or their outfits, People with those white dots above your head will know who you are no matter what sort of outfit you're in, so to say. Um, so you, you do have to be quite sort of, uh, you have to keep your eyes peeled pretty much and make sure you don't run into anyone um, with those dots above their heads. We've got a security camera over there, so let's deal with that first of all. Oh, we're just going to shoot that security camera out. They somehow didn't hear that. Uh, let's quite funny actually. Right, let's just try and get around. I do want to kill one of them because I want to take their bo um, their box, there it is. I want to take their outfit. I had box in my mouth because I've seen the box over here. This is a, a loot crate or supply stash rather. Uh, baseball, lead pipe, magnesium pouch. Um, I'll take the lead pipe and we'll use the lead pipe to throw it off one of their heads. <laughs> Actually, no, we won't. We'll, we'll just draft them. We'll get one of them to come over. Excuse me? Right. So they heard that. Let's get our gun out ready. Uh, you want to have a look? Okie dokie. And his friend is going to go down. And so is he. Excellent. Right. Nearly fucked it up then. Because he nearly called for reinforcements. Let's get our pipe back. Excellent. Thank you very much. And we'll take his uniform. There we are, excellent. Now as far as everyone else is concerned, I am now part of the security team. Unless they have that white dot above their head, which I spoke to you about earlier. Which will mean that they'll know who I am. Right, let's uh, get into it. We'll close the door behind us. There we go. Okay, so we have target number one, which seems to be right on the other side of this wall. Target number two, which seems to be upstairs. And target number three, possibly on the third floor. It's an alerted territory as well, which means the targets will know who we are if we get too close to them. So, let's uh, approach them with caution. Might be a little warm in here, but those exhaust fumes are just horrible. I know, I know. Don't get restless. Who the hell decides to put an AC unit in a basement garage? Someone who doesn't work here anymore, I hope. I'm really sorry, but we've had to section off this area for now. The head of security suspects there may have been some tampering going on here. But I need my things. Right, there's one of our targets right there. It says bitch here. It is an alert of territory though, so we can't get too close to her, and she has the white dot above her head, like mentioned previously. So let's just keep an eye on her and see where she goes for now. Once we start to get an idea of where she walks, we'll uh, plan an attack. While we are here though, we'll get our gun out just ready in case we need to use it. So, not find I don't know if she stays in this room or not. Paycheck, my friend. You don't have to love if she does, then we might have to emetic her, which will make her uh, well caught the toilet and pretty much shit herself. Or vomit, rather. Um, and while she's vomiting, we would kill her. Got a security guard who is asleep. Money transport key. Oh, I just took a key off him. <laughs> Excellent. 
this thing that I'm using right now where I can see the targets outlines that's called instinct um, it's pretty much just a way of yeah, being able to find your targets a bit easier I could kill her in this room and no one would know because he's asleep and they're not really watching Do we kill her in the room? Shall we risk it? Let's risk it. Risk it for our biscuit, let's see. Right. Excellent work, 47. You've spread fear within the city. Let's hide her behind her, yeah. That was amazing. Just went up, shot her in the back twice, and that's her dead. <laughs> Apart from the pool of blood, it's a bit inconspicuous. Right, that's target number one down. We pick, picked off one of the objectives up on the left. Silence pistol kill epic. Amazing. Poison target with the dark guns next. Uh, so we'll get the dark gun out ready. And we'll head upstairs uh, for target number two. Right, I need to get over there. As you can see, the target's up there. It's one of the security guards. However, we've got an enforcer over there with a white dot above his head. Yeah. We're going to have to try and be a bit clever about this and somehow try and find a way to get around him. Which could potentially be up here. That expression's perfect. Shows him you mean business. Ah, uh, poor guy. He did well for us. I mean, he closed the Berman account, which netted the bank a cool ten million. I mean, does he even know right, we're up here on the same floor as the target. This is the one we're going to dart gun, make him go at the toilet, and we're going to kill him in the toilet pretty much. We'll take him down with the knife. So, dart gun out, open the door. That's him right there. He's now been hit. Oh shit, she noticed that. Um, don't say anything, please. I'm not an assassin. Nothing. She doesn't even care, that's good. Fuck me. She could have blew the whole entire operation. Right, he's gonna go yeah. to the toilet now, which I'm gonna follow him there. Oh, come on. And we're gonna take Get him down with a knife. Because that is one of the payout objectives. Are you going to go into the toilet? Let's get the knife out ready. Got the knife out. Perfect. There's an out of order sign on the door as well, so no one will come in here. <coughs> oh, and there he is, damn. Bloody hell. Member eliminated. Well done, 47. Didn't mean to drop the knife there. Right, that's him done. No one's going to come in here, but we'll hide him in here just in case. There we go. Right. <laughs> and uh, the blood detail is pretty decent. Right, close the door. That's target number two down. So, target number three. Where are you? You're down there. That's her right there. What we might do is I might tranquilize her as well, or dark on her rather. So she comes to the toilet. I can't do it out in the open though. So, we're going to have to be a bit careful. I don't know where she's coming. I'm just going to hide in here. I know where she's off to. Okay, she's going towards the whatever that is, an office. If she goes in there, I could try and get her from the balcony. Yeah, she is. Let's go upstairs, try and get her from the balcony. Where is she? Let's try and get her from the balcony. Yes, I got her! Yes! Okay, excellent. Uh, silent target take down rare melee. Why didn't I get that when I took the guy down with a knife? Do they mean take down as in knock them out? Or not kill them? Oh, I'm confused. I was just a little bit sick in my mouth. Oh, I was gonna come. I could just shoot her from up here, but I'll, I like to try and not be loud. I like to try and 
do this with a bit of skill, so to say. Right, she's gonna go at the toilet. Hopefully not the same toilet. Oh, no, she's going at the same toilet. That's good job I hid the body then. Or I should go in there, see the body and shit herself. Head of security there, I'll have to wait for him to pass by. Right, let's get there quick. I love how none of them are alarmed that there's a man, bald man, following a female in the toilet or whatever. I love how she's not bothered about the blood. Amazing. Oh! Right, that's her well down. Done, 47. This will surely be a blow to the syndicate. And there we go. Simple as that. The safe house. All three I'll targets are down. We didn't get the takedown rare melee though. I'm not too sure why. Because the knife rules are rare melee. Uh, whatever, you can't, can't have them all, I guess. How the hell do I get out of here? Can't even remember how I got here in the first. Oh yeah, through these doors. Right, that's us. That's all three targets done. There was an enforcer at the door, but I'm hoping I can get past him quick enough that he doesn't huh? realise who I am. Hey uh oh, no. Uh oh. Can I get out quick? There we go. <laughs> He's running after me as I'm going out the door. <laughs> Love it. That was uh, that was New York, New York, USA. Um, and the great thing about the Freelancers series is each and every time you, you go into these, it's something different. It's not always the same. So even if we went back to back to the same uh, map, um, it's going to be different targets and different ways to kill them. Anyhow, uh, we feel the no combat. Do not initiate combat. Try to keep your weapons concealed so you don't escalate the situation. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to kill someone without doing that. Perform a silent... Oh, that was it. A silent takedown. Yeah, so pretty much I had to knock them out and not kill them with a rare melee. So that's why I didn't get that one. Shoot target with a dark gun. We got that. And eliminate a target with an epic legendary pistol. Which we also did with the first female. Excellent. Shabby, 4,595 gained through that, and that only took 10 minutes. Okay, we are back in our underground bunker now after completing that uh, mission, and I just want to show you that, that every time you do one of those, you get the choice of opening the supply crate here, and you get a choice of three different things. Uh, so we've got an antique lin lethal syringe, maybe said lintel there. Electronic Hacker Mark 3 and a Breaching Challenge. I think I'm going to go for the Hacker just so we can open up doors or key cards if we need to. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much that. That's all there is to it, really. I'm going to keep it nice and short and simple for the first episode. Um, if you do enjoy it, though, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And I will be coming out with episode 2 of Freelancer very shortly. Thank you very much. Do appreciate anyone that's come by and stopped to watch. And I will see you in the next episode of Hitman Freelancer. See you later. Bye.